Hi everyone, Tim the Plane Man here and welcome to Plane Time Fried Eagle Edition. Went out to the field and I, I fried it. So here is the aileron servo wire. The ground wire is pretty much fried. And the servo connector here, that's basically just melted. And here's more. There's these several wires from this quick release connector that go that plug the wing into the main plane. The one wire, I mean, it's it's just completely burned out. That is the ground wire going out to the connector here that goes out to the motors. The ground wire for power is fine. It's the ground wire for control. This is the ground wire for the um, servo controls, the PWM controls that go out to both of the motors. The strangest thing is that the other side of this connector, the part where the boom plugs in, they're fine. So here's what I think happened. When I went out to the field, it was a beautiful sunny day after three o'clock. Before three o'clock, it had been really, it had been pea soup fog for the whole day. And then all of a sudden the sun came out. When I went out to the field, the bench where I put the plane together, just a little wet, just a little damp on the surface. But I made the mistake putting this wing down this way up. And I think that what happened was that this connector touched the surface like that and that some water got into just, and I was lucky, I think water got into one of these little holes here. And then when I plugged the plane together and powered her up, I had a short. I think that's what it is. Even worse than that. And here's the, the worst part. Because that servo connector, the one that's fried, this one here, it was connected, obviously, to the servo rail on the back end of the flight controller here. The funny thing is that none of the other connectors show any sign of damage at all. They're all fine. The motor wires, of course, um, well, technically they run, to, they run to the same ground, but they don't run to the same power because the motors don't run power over those connectors. So I had servos for ailerons, elevator, rudder, throttle, all through this servo wire and all powered by this BEC. This BEC right here is a five volt BEC and it seems to come up, but I have to test but the flight controller itself was very warm. It wasn't like burning hot, but it was pretty warm. So I'm just worried that I have a servo rail fried as well. And I'm going to test that. So what I'm going to do is to test that is I've just connected a servo that I know works. Just this crappy old servo that I've got lying around to one of the servo outputs on the flight controller disconnected everything else and I'm going to power the plane from this 4S battery and obviously I'm going to use a smoke stopper. Uh, this is my essential tool that I use whenever I power up anything pretty much when I'm worried about it. So if I turn that on, right, we've got connections come up. Everything seems to be working. The back comes up. Um, yeah, I'm not getting, it's not hot and the smoke saver is not firing. Oh, but I need the uh, safety switch running. So I'll have to, I'll just do that. Okay, so this time I now have power connected to the flight controller. Still minimal connections. And let's just see what happens with this little servo. Let's get that untangled from in here. So we'll see if that servo is actually going to move when I power it on. Everything seems to be coming up. Oh, there we go. Okay, so safety switch. Now if I turn the safety switch, the servo should come on. Yeah, that's not happening. Nothing Fly happened. by wire or flight mode. Okay, well, I don't know. I think my flight controller is dead. 
It's alive. It's alive. Okay, so I've connected the aileron servo to the same output, the one that was fried before, and I've got the power coming into the servo rail up the top here. And look what happened. I'm getting movement. It is moving. So it's alive. This is, it is actually working. So the flight controller is okay. Uh, I'm just going to have to replace the wires and this will be up and running. Tim the Plane Man, over and out.